All right, lining up a queue in Digital Performer. Uh, make a new chunk. Make sure the chunk is at the right frame rate as usual. Make sure that it's in the conductor track mode. And set up your chunk start time. This queue starts at one hour and four seconds. And go ahead and double check while you're at it. Make sure real time is zero at the start of the chunk and the first measure is measure one. All right. So then you're set up okay. And the uh, first thing you have to do is put in your base tempo or tempi. If you have more than one, this cue starts at 75 beats a minute. Right at bar one. And at bar 33, the cue goes up to 90 beats a minute. And that's all the basic base tempo info. You want to get your meters plugged in, and this queue, the entire queue, is in 3 4. After the tempo and the meter are all established, any uh, major sync points that need streamers, you can put those in at this time. And we put them at their time locations, usually real-time locations. Simply time would be fine, too. It doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to enter three. We, use, we enter them using just by dropping markers in at the correct time. So at 32.6 seconds, there's a sync point. We'll drop a marker right there. You notice that... Uh, in this queue, that sync point is supposed to be on bar 14, and it's late. Um, but at this point, we're not going to go in and put in the retards that we need to make it hit 14 directly. We'll just drop all the, the markers in the correct location first. And then we'll come back and put in the retards. The next sync point is uh, at 57.06. And we'll drop a marker in there. It's automatically naming them marker one, marker two. Of course, you could name them whatever you want. It doesn't actually matter what they're called, really. Uh, that one's supposed to be on measure 24. It's late, but there'll be a retard to make it work out when we get there. Those are the two major sync points that need streamers in the middle of this queue. But we'll also just go ahead right now and jump to two minutes and 27 seconds even because that's where the music out point is and I'm going to use new marker with options so that I can name it MX out and so that I can change the color to red and you see over here in the markers window those three sync points that we just dropped in are there, including the music out one, which is the red one. Uh, the way you do the retards to make the timing of them work out is by using adjust beats. Let's navigate back to where the first one is, which is right for supposed to be for bar 14. You pull up the uh, adjust beats window and you use these settings the drag beats in the edit window box is checked and we're going to be dragging in the MIDI editing window so the snapping works. We have this middle button selected move all following beats by the same amount that just makes it so that what you have is a retard but then the original bass tempo that preceded it resumes afterwards. That's a kind of a standard setting for getting to a streamer which is there's either a fermata or a retard and you just slow down momentarily to get the streamer to work. And lastly, uh, keep this preserve real-time performance checked. And we're snapping to the markers because we, we're going to we have directly, we want to connect the measure number directly with the streamer that it's aiming for. We click from the measure line straight to there. You can see it's snapping when I release. What it's done is drawn in a tempo, if you can see it here. Let's see if we can get down there and look at it. Actually, let's look up in the sequence view. It's a little easier to see it big. Let's go over there. 
And what you're going to see here, this little dip in the tempo indicates the retard that happens in measure 13 in order to make the streamer nail measure 14. That's how that, that works. So let's jump ahead because uh, there's also a streamer in measure number 24. So let's get up there. And as you can see, we're going to need a retard here in 23 to make the one at 24 work. Again, it's a click and a drag. Boom. I'm always dragging here in the MIDI uh, view because it makes the snapping works better in there. But it's easier to see, I think, really, up here in the sequence view that you have this dip in the tempo here to make the retard work. And now the streamer is actually nailing the bar number that it was aiming for. And now I'm scrolling up to measure 65 where the music out is and we have to get the, that red streamer to nail that one right on the measure. Click and a drag, it snaps right on. You can see the little dip, a little retard. So that's all the retiming we need to do to get the retards to work out. Uh, the score qual calls for flutters on bar every other bar on bar 2 through 12. And up here in my um, clippings window, I have some, a picture queuing clipping window here, and I'm just going to grab the 5 flutter, drag it to bar 2. And once, I'm, once it's in there, I can actually option drag it to get it to appear on these other bars. Our flutters are in place now. And we also need string of flutters every other bar right here. 15, 17, 19, and 21. What I can do is just select 4, copy, paste. Uh, if we look in the video window, we're already starting to see picture events showing up where they're supposed to show up. Right there, there's a the retard, the streamer. Okay, so that's all working. And we need to just get the pre-roll count-offs in there. Um, so in order to do that, we're going to use the uh, under project modify conductor track. We're going to insert a bunch of measures. I'm just going to throw 11 measures in here at the start of measure one. Make sure you check the box to maintain all the timings so that you don't wind up moving everything later. This will keep it all in place. Click yes. Now you got a bunch of negative measures before measure one there to give you a little bit of pre roll. And um, since we're doing free time, we want to actually drag a tacit click right in the beginning here. So the clicks aren't going. But if we want to have a count off, say two bars of count off for measure one. We can use the um, we can use the clip, click clipping, drag it into measure negative one. Now the clicks will be on at measure negative one and measure zero. And then we'll just shut them off again at measure one. Test that out. No clicks. Clicks. No clicks. All right. Uh, final touch. We can throw. We can give them a yellow streamer leading into those clicks. I might appreciate that. And we can give them a green streamer beginning of the queue. One. And they'll appreciate that.
I'm going to skip ahead to the end of the queue. Make sure that red streamer is in the right place. <laughs> 